Hi, welcome to my first Xcode tutorial. I started coding with Xcode 6 and Swift and now they updated it to Xcode 7 and Swift 2. I'm going to show you a problem I faced in both Xcode 6 and 7 and I would like to share the solution with you. So let's go ahead and start a new Xcode project. Single view. You can call it whatever you want. Language is Swift and devices choose whatever you want. And create. I like to run my app on iPhone 6 so because that's the phone I have. Okay, so let's start with the main storyboard. Let me make this a bit bigger. Okay. Move this and remove this okay so there is a view well uh, i'm starting i'm working on a multi-view application so my advice is to add a navigation control in my point of view i think it's the best way to do a multi-view application is to add a navigation control so first uh, as you can see, the, with the navigation control comes a table view. You can very simply delete it. Okay. As you can see, there's the arrow that comes with the view. So move it to the navigation control view. And I like to specify the size of the navigation control. Because then it specifies this, the rest of the views. This is, I'll show you how. Okay. Make sure when you choose to go to your first um, view, when you right, when you left click and drag, you choose root view controller because this will cause a huge error. And you walk, it's called Segway something. Make sure the connection between the navigation control and your main page is root view controller. Okay, so just to make things more clear, let me add a label to I'm gonna add also two buttons to make us go to two different views okay so let me just rename them to make them more clear page one actually it's a view not page but anyways page two okay so you can do the constraints and all that stuff but i mean i have a point to prove let's add a view and left click control to go from the main page to the next view make sure you press show okay so just to make things more clearer add a label of page two sorry this is page one and let's add another view And right click show. Okay. Just let's add a label to show that this is page two. Okay, so the second thing you should do is as you can see here on the left, the class view controller which controls the main page as you can see here how do you know the name of the view by clicking on the yellow circle at the top of the view see view controller and the class is called view controller so going of course you're going to have an error if all three views are the same name because it's not possible so we need to change the name of the second view you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it page one. Of course, make sure you 
know what ca what letters are big and what letters are small because this can cause an error actually so to make a class for the this specific view file new source swift file obviously and the same name it's better if you copy and paste the name so you don't have any mistakes okay and as you can see page one okay so just to add the these methods and stuff Control copy Control paste and page one we just change the name of the class and add a bracket to end the class and to change the second view I'm gonna call it page two you can call it whatever you want after you change the name you press enter so you can see that the name has changed and as we did before file new swift file next page two again same big letters same small letters just the same thing we okay page two okay and the curly brackets okay so to make sure that each view is linked to the class we press on the yellow button here and we go on the right side and we press this small see on the left it's it's page two not page one so we have to press the button see it changed that shows you that both the view and the class are linked together so let's try it with the second page again click on the yellow circle so the name of the view is on the right side and we make sure that another class other than page 2 is on is opened on the left side so we press the arrow and it opened by the way it might not work from the first time so don't panic okay so let's run this okay so here's the main page if you press if you press page one it opens to page one if you press page two it opens to page two but realize down at the bottom it says unknown class page one and interface builder file well this will cause you a huge error if you add a button and you start coding and using it and stuff it will make a huge error and you won't know what the solution is and it will cause a huge problem because this is what happened to me so let me just get to the point and tell you how to remove this so first you click on the main page view and you go to the right side as you can see here like this thing that looks like a notebook and view control you press here and you press enter see it says like in gray current multi view so this means that the view is in the project see now the next one it says none that's why an error came out so what you do is you click and you press enter so it's in and looking for the i think this one is already see this already current multi-view so it's in the project let's run this again and see what happens so as you know the main page see down at the bottom in the middle there is nothing let's press page one still nothing page two nothing see now this multi-view problem has been solved and very simply very very easily and don't forget just the final reminder that the solution is under the class name the module just press enter Thank you for watching i hope you liked my video give it a thumbs up comment below if you have any comments if you have any questions or have any recommendations of other videos you would like to see 
I'm more than welcome to do videos about them and please don't forget to subscribe to see more of my problems and their solutions see you on the next video bye bye